Okay, today uh, I want to talk about um, the uh, people that have done collage work. And um, when I started doing my, uh, my book, I, I finished my book now. I have uh, almost 100 collages completed. But as I, when I started, I started looking at other collages, you know, just for inspiration. And one of the people I found, and one of the paintings I found that I absolutely loved was this one by Carl Kurt Kurt Schwitters. Um, he was a German artist. Um, in the uh, he was doing a lot of art, like in the 1920s and through the and, uh, 19, he died in 1947, 48. Um, now I am not uh, into abstract art that much, and um, all that stuff. Uh, which is a whole other topic, but I love this painting. I love or this collage, and um, I would like to do something like this. I don't know if I would do it all the time like this, but I I was kind of drawn to this. I said, well, this is I'm going to use this as inspiration. And uh, uh, as I looked at it more and more, I sort of deconstructed it, and you know, you see the three blues. You see a lot of um, the colors sort of circle around, and then you have the, this white focal point. Uh, he is a, not only did this, but he was a, he did also regular art. I mean, a realistic art, and he also did assemblage and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so I was really drawn to this, and this was my favorite collage of all the people that I all the collages I've seen historical collages. This was my favorite. So I kind of wanted to see if I could do something similar to this. Now, as I looked in more more looked at it more carefully I saw that there was some medium there's you know there's paint on this as well it's not just paper uh, there's paint along here you can see kind of see what he sort of did to it uh, so anyways I, I decided to uh, do some of this or try to so I want to show you my attempts and they are dismal let me just say okay the first thing I did was this one now this one is is actually using this paper and cutting it and uh, putting it down. So I had the circle and I had this uh, cruciform shape, which I love. You see this is here and that there. So I used some of his actual papers. And I really like this. I thought it turned out well, but it's not that full, that full coverage. But I do like this. Then after that, I did another one. The, did this one, uh, which I like. I, which I don't like as much, and I added a few more things. I added a little assemblage, little thing, I don't know, piece of wire or something. And then I added some other little pictures. I, added, you know, I, I, I'm not feeling that at all. And then I decided to do the full page. Now it's interesting how this page here, um, it, they look so much bigger. It's the same, it's, it's only on this pa paper, same size, but it looks so much bigger. Anyway, so my attempt to do him is here, and it's really dismal, in my opinion. Now, I didn't use any medium on there, I just used a little pen. Uh, but I was thinking what I might do with this later on is um, use some gesso, use some a medium, and that might be fun. I love this section right here. So that was my attempt to do what he did, but it's still not there. And then I tried again, and this was even worse. So then, uh, then I, you know, kind of went on my merry way. But then I did this one, which was sort of using some of his design. And uh, you see that blue piece here, and just that jaggedness and some circles. So I, I kind of took the took some of his ideas and cut it up and then made my own design out of it, which was this one. And then, finally, in tr attempting to copy him, I did uh, this totally abstract one here, but I let some white show, the, the, back, the back page show up, and then I had one focal point, this tree over here. And I kind of like this, it's kind of cool. It's, you know, it's abstract, I'm not sure. It's just visually sort of interesting, maybe, I don't know. But um, the other thing I wanna say is, whenever you're stuck, and when you're doing any kind of art at all, it, it is good to 
have a go-to design or have a, a go-to thing to do. And one of them is uh, this kind of thing. So I have, I have done more of this type of uh, collage where I have no idea where I'm going and I'm not getting inspired and, and two hours have gone by and I haven't come up with uh, anything. And then I just rip apart paper and I try to get some colors going, like I had some yellows and some blues and, and uh, I don't know what else, and some words and stuff. And it's just a work, do, do that, you know. So if you have um, a style that is comforting to you and you don't really need to think too much about it, you can just kind of lay it on the page, that's always nice to do, kind of clear your head and um, get ready for your, your next day of work or the next time you start trying to put something together that makes sense for you. So uh, I think there is value in this kind of work for a lot of reasons. Um, and so it's good to be inspired by other artists. Uh, I'll put a link to Kurt Schwitter's uh, Wikipedia page. And uh, I went down the rabbit hole earlier. I was telling Chris, who was here, and he wrote a wonderful poem called Anna Bloom. Uh, and I, I uh, shared that with my writer friends. It's really quite, quite fantastic. Oh, I, I showed this once before. I ended up uh, doing some outlining or some uh, sh shadowing with this. That's all I got to say today. So I mean, it's it's uh, it's interesting to have um, to consider other artists and to uh, take what you can from them, learn from them and their work. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.